Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about writing polynomial functions in standard form and in factored form. We will write polynomial function in standard form and write polynomial function in factored form. Let's recall polynomial function. A polynomial function is a function of the form p of x equals a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0 equals 0. a sub n is not equal to 0. So, yung terms ng polynomial may be written in any order. However, if they are written in decreasing powers of x, then the polynomial function is in standard form. So, kung yung kanyang mga variables ay nagdi-decrease yung power niya, so yung polynomial function ay naka-standard form. Paano ba magsulat ng polynomial function in standard form? Here are the steps in writing polynomial function in standard form. Step number one, write the term with the highest exponent first. Dapat yung nauna ay yung term na mayroong pinakamataas na exponent. Step number two, write the terms with lower exponents in descending order. So, mula sa mataas, papababa yung kanyang exponents. Step number three, remember that a variable with no exponent has an understood exponent of 1. So, kung walang exponent, understood na ang exponent niya ay 1. Step number four, a constant term always comes last. So, ang pinaka mahuli ay yung constant term. Let's write polynomial function in standard form. Let's have examples in writing polynomial function in standard form. Number 1, y equals 1 plus 2x plus x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed plus 2x raised to 4 plus 5x squared. Kung mapapansin natin, hindi siya naka-standard form kasi nauuna yung constant. Dapat yung constant term ay nasa last. So, let's have table. So, dito isusulat natin yung term with the highest exponent. And then, dito sa second column, yung term or terms with lower exponents in descending order. And then, the constant term. Tapos, dito sa last column, isusulat natin yung standard form ng ating polynomial function. So, alin dito yung term na with highest exponent, pinakamataas ang exponent, that is x raised to 5. And then, pag sunod rin natin yung mga term with lower exponents in descending order. So, ang susunod ay yung 2x to the 4th. Susundan ng negative 4x cubed. And then, 5x square at saka 2x. Ayon ang constant term? Ang constant term natin is 1. So, in standard form, pag samasamahin lang natin ito. So, ang standard form is y equals x raised to 5 plus 2x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x and then yung constant term siya yung pinakadulo that is positive 1 plus 1. So this is the standard form of the polynomial function. Let's have another example. Write this in standard form f of x equals 5x plus 9x squared minus 3x raised to 8. So, again, in this table form, alin ang term with the highest exponent, yung pinakamataas ang exponent, that is negative 3x raised to 8. And then, yung natitirang with lower exponents, so that is 9x squared at saka 5x. Ang constant term natin is 0 dahil wala tayong constant term. And then, isusulat natin in standard form. So, we have f of x equals negative 3 x raised to 8. Yun yung mauna, susundan ng positive 9 x squared plus 5 x. So, wala tayong constant term. So, this is the standard form. 
Let's have another example, number 3. Y equals x times x squared minus 5. So, naka-factored form siya. So, isusulat natin in standard form. I-distribute natin yung x by distributive property. So, we have y equals x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Therefore, the standard form is y equals x cubed minus 5x. So, nauuna na yung exponent na pangataas, then sinusundan ng lower exponent. So, wala tayong constant term. Number 4, f of x equals negative x times x minus 4 times x plus 4. So, okay, so naka-factored form ulit ito. Gagawin nating standard form. So, una, i-multiply natin yung x minus 4 and x plus 4. Kung mapapansin natin, this is sum and difference of two terms. So, pag pinag-multiply natin, ang kalalabasan ay negative x times x squared minus 16. So, x times x is x squared. Negative 4 plus 4 is negative 16. Then, by distributive property, i-distribute natin yung negative x. So, we have negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative x times negative 16 is positive 16x. So, this is the standard form. We have negative x cubed plus f of x equals negative x cubed plus 16x. Okay, ngayon naman, magsusulat tayo ng polynomial function in factored form. So, mula standard form, gagawin nating factored form. Example number 1, y equals 64x cubed plus 125. So, magagamit natin dito yung factoring. So, gagamitin natin yung sum of 2 cubed. So, yung example natin is sum of 2 cubed. So, halimbawa, a cubed plus b cubed. Ang kanyang factor ay a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, factor natin. Ano ang Cube root ng 64x cubed, that is 4x. Ano ang cube root ng 125? That is 5. And then, kung ano yung sign, kukopyahin lang natin. So, we have 4x plus 5. And, and then, ito, paano natin makukuha? Yung 4x, kukunin natin yung square niya. So, we have 16x squared. Then, minus, and then, pag multiplyin, and then, pag multiplyin natin si 4x at 5, that is 20x. And then last, yung b squared, so kukunin natin yung square ng 5. That is 25. So this is the factored form of y equals 64x cubed plus 125. Let's have another example. Number 2. Y equals 81x raised to the fourth minus 16. So, i-apply natin dito yung difference of 2 square. So, example, a square minus b square. Ang kanyang factored form ay a plus b and a minus b. Kukunin natin yung square root ng first term. And then, kunin natin yung square root ng second term. And then, isusulat natin as sum and difference. So, let's... Have the factoring. Let's have the factors of 81x to the fourth. So, ano ang square root ng 81x raised to fourth? That is 9x squared. And then, square root ng 16, that is 4. And then, isusulat natin as sum and difference. Kung mapapansin natin, meron ulit difference of 2 squares dito. So, ifa-factor pa rin natin. So, we have 9x squared plus 4. Ang factor ng 9x squared minus 4 ay 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. Paano nangyari yun? Square root ng 9x squared is 3x. And then, square root ng 4 is 2. And then, isusulat natin as sum and difference. Therefore, the factored form of y equals 81x raised to 4 minus 16 is y equals 9x squared plus 4 times 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. 
Let's have another example. 3, y equals 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 8. So, meron tayong apat na terms. Ang gagamitin natin ay factoring by grouping. So, ifa-factor muna natin yung, may, yung merong common terms. So, we have 3x cubed plus 6x squared and then 4x plus 8. Then, factor out natin yung greatest common factor. So, dito sa una, ang common ay 3x squared. Para makuha yung x plus 2, 3x cubed divided by 3x squared is x. 6x squared divided by 3x squared is 2. And then, yung 4x plus 8, ang common term niya ay 4. So, 4x divided by 4 is x. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then, pagsamahin natin, ito yung common term, yung x plus 2. And then, pagsamahin natin yung 3x squared plus 4. So, ang factored form ng y equals 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 8 is y equals x plus 2 times 3x squared plus 4. Okay, for our example number 4, write y equals x to the 4th minus 4x squared minus 45 in standard form. So, una, yung x to the 4th gagawin natin as x squared raised to 2. So, x raised to 2 times 2 is 4. So, parehas lang. And then, ilalabas natin yung negative 4. x squared minus 45. And then, we will let x squared equals x. Yung x squared gagawin nating x. So, we have y equals x squared minus 4x minus 45. Apply natin yung factoring. So, factors ng x squared ay x and x. And then, isip tayo ng factors ng negative 45 na ang sum ay negative 4. So, negative 9 and 5. Negative 9 times 5, negative 45. Negative 9 plus 5. Negative 4. And then, substitute x equals x squared. So, ibabalik natin yung x squared. Yung x, papalitan natin ng x squared. So, we now have x squared minus 9 times x squared plus 5. Pinalitan natin yung x ng x squared. So, meron tayong difference of 2 squares dito. So, pwede pa natin i-factor. Ang factor ng x squared minus 9 ay x plus 3 and x minus 3. Anong square root ng x squared? That is x. Anong square root ng 9? That is 3. And then, sum and difference. Then, copy x squared plus 5. So, this is now the factored form. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to share a simple quotation. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. That is from Albert Einstein. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.